back. If you've just joined us, you're watching Channels Television, celebrating 21 years of professional broadcasting. This is the news at 10, and here's a reminder of our major stories tonight. President Buhari blames terrorism and violent extremism for hampering Africa's development, describes them as new continental threat. Military authorities defend counterinsurgency operations in the Northeast, vow to investigate allegations of human rights abuses by officers and soldiers. Lawyers seek major reorganization of Nigerian Bar Association and prominent role in judicial reforms. And demonstrations against Donald Trump's election continue for a second day in U.S. cities. President-elect praises protesters' passion. quick reminder to you that all our top stories are on our website channelstv.com and on youtube.com forward slash channels web and do log on to m.channelstv.com to view us live on your mobile device you can also download the channels tv app for android ios and windows phones from their respective stores besides the news and updates the channels tv app has an eyewitness feature we encourage you to use it to share those pictures videos or news of happenings around you just install the app, then tap and swipe to reveal the eyewitness menu and follow the instructions. Now let's take a look at some of those pictures I was talking about earlier. And we can begin with this one, if we can, showing a flower garden at the Boundary Roundabout in Ajegunle, Ifelodu local government area, with heaps of refuse there. Our eyewitness reporter is asking the authorities to secure the garden and discourage perpetrators. Next is this picture from Ogulano Street in Ushodi, Lagos State. Our eyewitness reporter is asking the authorities to fix the road. And from Oshun State comes this next image of a makeshift bridge in Ushubo, Oshun State. Our eyewitness reporter says the bridge, which was originally constructed as a temporary structure, now needs the government's urgent attention. And here's one showing a stretch of road of the Agbado Ijoko Road in Ogun State. Our eyewitness reporter wants the road fixed to make it easier to navigate when it rains. And finally, we have this picture from Owode Mile 12 in Lagos State. Our eyewitness reporter says the streets are always flooded and he wants the authorities to do something about it quickly. Thanks a lot for all your pictures and send us some more when you can. Let's cross over to the Federal Capital Territory now. Here's Linda Akigwe. Linda. Hello, Ijoma. Now, attention is now on the Nigerian child, and the federal government says everything will be done to protect the rights of children across the country. The Minister of Women Affairs and Social Development, Senator Aisha Jumai Al Hassan, who spoke in Nasarawa State, says henceforth, Government has decided that violence against persons considered to be children would be viewed with seriousness. The Child Rights Act was officially signed into law in Nigeria by former President Ulushego Basonjo in 2003. It was domesticated in Nasarawa State, North Central Nigeria in 2005. Some cardinal points of the law are the right of the child to free, compulsory, and universal basic education, and the right to rest and leisure. In the law, child abduction and forced exploitative labor are stated as offenses. The Minister of Women Affairs, Aisha Al Hassan, is visiting the governor of Nasarawa State, Tanku Al Makura at the government house in Lafia, the state capital. She wants him to enforce the law in his state. She also has an appeal for the domestication of the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act, popularly called the VAP Act. People do things and get away with it when you have the law in hand. We need to protect our children. Our children are the leaders of tomorrow, Your Excellency. We need to protect them. Now, this act, the VAP Act, we call it, was uh, passed last year, and we expect that any time soon, Nasarawa State will be in the lead to domesticate it. It is for the betterment of all of us. It protects all of us, men, women, children. But she comes with more than appeals. A women development center, almost all the states have it. 
but we don't have one in the Sarawa state. Our women are the even states that the women are not as industrious as Nasrawa state women. They have women development centers. It does a lot of good. We have it at the national level. Many, many states have it. Your Excellency, I'm begging you to please look into that, probably in your next budget or the one after. Governor Al Makura assures the minister of a swift response to her requests. One of the souvenir or gift we will give you in Nasrawa state will come only a few months after when we get this bill enacted by the state house of uh, the state government is also trying in its own small way to support and complement the efforts we are making at the federal level the violence against persons prohibition act which was passed at the federal level in 2015 is yet to be domesticated in several states across the country and this is hindering its effectiveness to politics, some members of the opposition People's Democratic Party in Nigeria's northeast appear to be having sleepless nights due to the long-standing leadership crisis in the party. Consequently, the caucus of the party, led by former governor of Adamawa State, Mr. Boni Haruna, and the PDP governorship candidate in Yobi State, Mr. Adamu Waziri, seems set to intervene in the matter. According to Mr. Waziri, the party caucus would meet with Senator Ali Modu Sharif, who comes from the same region and leads a faction of the PDP with a view to asking him to sheath his sword. Our party is in turbulence, is crisis written that has defied resolution. Democracy is under threat in our country. And the threat will become more real if there is no opposition platform. It will become worse if there is no credible opposition platform. And the only available opposition platform ought to be the PDP. We need an effort by some loyal members of the party, committed, dedicated, selfless to commence the process of restoring the institutions and practice of democracy. We will send that team to Ali Mali Sharif to convey our feeling that if he is one of us, he should willingly agree with the National, Working, um, National Caretaking Committee and get involved in the process of a national convention whereby new leadership will be elected. Meanwhile, in Ondo State, the APC governorship candidate, Mr. Rotimi Akeridulu, is promising to focus on rehabilitating roads in rural areas if elected. While visiting some communities in Ondo West 1 and 2, Mr. Akeridolu assured the people of better living conditions. He also promised to create more local government areas to bring development closer to the people. It's another day for the campaign train of the All Progressives Congress governorship candidate in Ondo State and Ajegule, Laje. Orisumbari, Ajibambo, and other communities in Undo West 1 and 2 local government areas are on today's itinerary. As the train moves through the roads, which appear to have been left unattended for years, the task becomes bigger for the entourage. At every stop, the APC flag bearer, Mr. Ruti Miyakaridili, is received with excitement. In Ajibambo town, the traditional ruler and his council speaking in the native dialect list their major challenges to include bad roads and scarce farming implements. At the palace of the Dejobakure, Oba Alade Toimbo, Alade Lusi, and the Oshemawe of Ondo Kingdom, Oba Ademe Funkiladejo, the APC candidate received royal blessings. 
I want to assure them that immediately we have this opportunity, Akere Dolu will hit the ground running. As I'm talking here today, we just left the palace of Akabiesi. Akere Dulu already has think tank working on different thematic areas that will impact on the quality of lives of the people of Ondo State. That is the kind of governor I look forward to. Back in Ondo town, the reception is overwhelming as party faithful turn up in a show of support for the candidates they say can bring about change. Mr. Akerudolu believes there will be a need to create more governance channels. Let's do it again so we can take over government and then deliver the good things of life to our people. With the elections just less than three weeks away, the All Progressives Congress is taking nothing for granted in its quest to seek the people's votes. Still ahead on the news at 10, Vice President Oshibajo visits Nigerian Stock Exchange, the state's government's determination to encourage more companies to list. That's some business news. Join us again.